Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you guys have been following my channel uh, as of late, I've been releasing quite a lot of videos around the subject of AI and how to run AI, how to code in AI. One of the questions that I've been asked is, how can I run models that are not part of the official Olama library? So things like you can find in Hugging Face, for example. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how you can download a model or any model you like from Hugging Face and run it with your Olama software, all right? Let's get on it. Now, the very first thing that we need to do is making sure that we have installed Anaconda or Miniconda. So whatever version uh, you prefer, go ahead and download it. Now, after installing Anaconda or Miniconda, let's create our environment. To do that, we just type conda create minus n, and then we give uh, minus n, which is for name. Let's call this AGF1 for hugging face one, for example. And then let's just set Python to version 3.0. 11. Hit enter and now click yes to confirm and this will set up the environment for you. Once it's done, just type conda activate hf1 as the installer prompts you to do. Hit enter and now you can see that now we're in the correct environment which is hf1. Now the next thing we got to do is install the hugging face CLI. Let's just go back into our terminal and let's uh, type pip install minus u hugging face cli as you guys can see on the screen minus u just stands for upgrade in case you already have it there so hit enter and this should install it goody goody awesome now one of the things that hugging face recommends us doing is installing the specific package written in rust to speed up the downloads and what this package does is it essentially chops up uh, very large files into smaller chunk files and they claim it doubles the speed and to be fair with you I did notice a substantial improvements especially at peak times so in order to do that just type peep install hugging face hub AGF transfer and hit enter and this will install the Rust package, great. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to add the variable uh, AGF underscore hub underscore enable underscore AGF underscore transfer equals one, as you guys see on the screen right now. And in order to do that, on the Mac, you can just export this uh, environment variable, variable, but in Windows, we're gonna have to go to properties and advanced settings, and then here, click on environment variables. You just uh, hit new, and then you're gonna put the variable name in there, and then you're gonna set the variable to one, and then hit okay. This basically just instructs the Hugging Face CLI to use that specific module that we just installed or package that we just installed. And now we're ready to go to Hugging Face and look for a model that we like. So let's just open our browser here. Let's navigate to Hugging Face. Oops. Hugging Face. Let's go in there. Great. And I love this website. So cool. Models. Okay, now for this to work, we're going to look for a GGUF, which is a kind of like an, an extension or a file format to save these, these models. So we just type GGUF. Well, let's look for an uncensored model. Uncensored. Let's see, wizard. Ah, here's a cool one. The bloke. The bloke models are always great. So let's just go for that one. Wizard LM. 7 billion. 7 billion parameters uncensored. That's what we want. Now, once you're here on this site, just scroll down because he's going to have variants for this particular model. And you want to look for one that he recommends so you don't have like really, really bad performance. So let's go for this one, uh, Q4KM. So just click on this link. Now that we're here on this page, we're gonna go and download this model. The first thing we gotta do is just click where it says Wizard 7B Uncensored GGUF right next to it. See this little copy model name to clipboard? Let's click on that. Then go back to the command line. And in here, let's type Hugging Face CLI and then download. And then let's just paste what we just copied. Now, if you hit enter right now, it's gonna download all of the models. So it's gonna be huge, you know, massive amount of space that it's gonna steal from your computer. So what you wanna do is you wanna come back here and right next to the model, the, the version that we wanna uh, download, Click again on this little square in there, go back, hit space, and let's put it there. And this is gonna download specifically just 
this model. Now, if you want, you can specify a specific folder path uh, to download, but I'm gonna let this go to the default place um, so that you guys know where actually this stuff is stored. So let's hit enter and this is gonna download the model. Super quick. It is quick indeed, right? <laughs> All right. Now pay attention to the last uh, output from the from the installation, which is this path here. And we're going to need this. So just copy this path. And now we need to create a model file. And the model file is to Olama what a Docker file is to Docker. So just type, I'm going to type notepad because I'm in Windows and I'm lame. So I'm going to type notepad um, and we're going to create a model file and make sure that there's no no, no extensions on that model file, like .txt, for example, which Notepad is going to create. Hit that. Now, I already have a file here. If I didn't have a file here, it would prompt me if I wanted to create a new file. And I'll click yes. All I got to do is just re replace this name so that I have from and this path here. So just replace the path with the model that you just downloaded. And it should be this one here. And let's save. Now, again, make sure it doesn't save with .txt. Very important. Okay, cool. Now type Olama create. So the name can be something like uncensored if I spelled it correctly. Wizard, was it wizard? Yeah, wizard. Uh, let's put 7B. Let's just do minus F just like in Docker and this will be for the location model file. So just hit enter. Okie dokie, it's created. So let me just clear the screen. And if we just type Olama list and hit enter, ah, there you go. Uncensored Wizard 7B Latest. Copy this name, type Olama Ran, paste it there. So Olama Run Uncensored and hit enter. And that's it. So simple, right? Download any models, experiment, have fun. Let's see what we can do here. How far away is the sun? Super quick, because it's using my GPU. All right, guys, now go to Hugging Face and download whatever models you want, experiment, try, have fun, run it locally, run it remotely, whatever way you want to do it, just have fun with it, okay? This was a shorter video today, but I hope it was useful. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.